Now, look, you recall uh, Meghan and Harry's infamous New York car chase last year. Apparently, some new details have come to light. What are they? Yes, so the NYPD has uh, released some footage and, and released a statement uh, attesting to the fact that uh, Harry and Meghan were involved, not necessarily in a catastrophic car chase, uh, as they worded it, but they were being pursued relentlessly um, by paparazzi who had no regard for traffic regulations in a heavily congested city like New York. Uh, fortunately, no one was hurt, but the, the police does have enough um, footage and evidence to arrest two people. Um, we also know that the NYPD provided a statement for Prince Harry's uh, lost case, uh, lost high court case, with regards to uh, the withdrawal of his automatic right to publicly funded um, security here in the UK. Um, so we know that something did happen where there, were, there was clearly disregard for, for public life, uh, for, for innocent bystanders and pedestrians in pursuit of getting that kind of money shot of, of the, the, the Duke and, and Duchess of Sussex. Um, and the NYPD have attested to it. Now, whether this, this was kind of the Grand Theft Auto uh, version that Meghan and Harry seem to allude to, whether it was, you know, high-speed car chase with flashing, blinding lights and, and people going haywire and cars tipping upside down. Philly, that was not the case. I mean, when, I, I, I think we remember because we spoke about this when they released a statement about the, the catastrophic car chase. You know, most people were curious. You cannot have a car chase in, in New York. There, there's, there's such a congested city. It's like having a car chase in London. You get to Battersea within five minutes uh, after driving for, 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 you know, for what felt like eternity. Uh, so at the end of the day, uh, you know, clearly there are paparazzi and there are people that push the line. There's no doubt about it that push the envelope to try and get footage of members of, in this case, former members of, of the royal family. Um, and it is it is a problem. It is extremely uh, dangerous. Um, now, unfortunately, that evidence that the or statement that the NYPD gave um, to support Harry's case didn't um, change the outcomes of things. We still know that Harry lost his case um, to challenge his automatic. Uh, right to armed security here in the UK. And I suspect that will have implications moving forward of his frequency, the frequency of his visits, whether Meghan will even come over with their children, whether they'll just stay in, in Montecito because they feel like they've been forced out with no option. Um, we'll have to see. Now, the rumours about Prince Harry as the part-time prince, will they continue, Esther? And we've spoken about this before. Look, my understanding is that it's not going to happen, but why won't this story go away? I think it's because Prince Harry is a bit like the Energizer Bunny. Uh, he just doesn't stop. I mean, he is up to his neck in lawsuits. He's very, he's very, very fortunate that he's an extremely wealthy man. Although I'm sure he tries to distance himself uh, from that in a bit to seem a bit more pious to the public. But he is a very wealthy man. And like I've said, his late mother left him an inheritance, I believe, to the tune of around 30 million pounds. So he has a fair bit of change to chuck at whatever he wants to. Um, but he keeps on with these lawsuits. Obviously, the most recent case of, of Harry losing. Uh, the court case um, with regards to his right to automatic um, publicly funded security, he's going to appeal it. And he released a statement um, with his intention to appeal that um, on the same day that the, the, the um, verdict was, was revealed. Um, this man is absolutely adamant that he's been treated unfairly. Um, but the question is, really, for the public, why does he even want to come back? He seems a lot happier with his chicken coops in Montecito. Um, and these are the kinds of things that are fueling rumours that you know, Prince Harry does intend to have some sort of comeback at the very least. He, he does say that he would felt like he was forced out. He had no choice because he wasn't given the option of half in, half out. Like he wanted to, he either had to be all in or all out. And he felt like that was unacceptable to him and his wife. And that, so they chose to, to flee the country um, like their hair was on fire. Uh, and, you know, he, he clearly seems a bit listless a bit uh, unmoored in, in California. He's doing all these kind of charity work, the Invictus Games being one of them. And he, he, he describes it as his fix, but it's clear that, you know, he has lost a huge asset being a member of the royal family, a working member of the royal family. Um, and then the kind of the reach he, get, he gets as, as in that position and how much good he can do. Um, now he just seems like one of those, I suppose, shallow A-list, if you can even call them that, celebrities in Hollywood, that really think that, uh, I don't know, feeding orphans some cooked chicken liver is, is, is doing the world a huge good. Um, so, you know, these are the kinds of things that are feeling the moment. But I think we know for, for the moment that that's highly unlikely to happen. King Charles and certainly not Prince William will not um, be open to inviting him back into the fold. He cannot be trusted. He, no one 
no one can trust that he doesn't have a Netflix mic attached to him or that his wife is not ready to snap pictures and send it to the highest bidder. So that there, there are substantial, obviously, um, roadblocks in his way if that's the path he's choosing. And while this is all going on, and, and in a sense, I don't blame her, Megan's gone skiing with her girlfriends. Yes, um, she she could, she seems none the wiser. It looks like she's living a very carefree life. In, in many ways, I'm actually quite happy for her that she left the royal family because it, it's clear that she would have been a, a terrible fit. Um, and this is not to say anything about the royal family, but this, this lady clearly doesn't have any devotion to the British public, the Commonwealth, the institution as a royal family. She's American, you could argue. Um, and I don't think that the royal family has a great track record with American people say it. Um, so I, maybe there's there's a, a bit of commonality there. But she's she's going skiing in, in Utah with a couple of um, power mums. That seems to be her thing now. She's been surprised, surrounding herself with power mums. I mean, one woman uh, started a Pilates company, the other woman has another company called, I think, Active Mums or something mums related. Um, so all of these kinds of, um, almost like the tropes you see in the Simpsons and Family Guy with these power mums that just um, drink green smoothies and do yoga all day. Uh, she's definitely drew, joined that cohort in, in, in Montecito. Um, so she's, she's having fun. She's having a good time and no one can blame Mr. Kraku, searing observations as per usual. Thank you so much for joining us.